Terry James has a new book, 15 Reasons This Is The Generation That Will Be Left Behind. And I gave a little tease in that last segment that I wanted to talk about a couple of things. I want to talk about the cry for peace and safety. And I made reference in that first segment to even CNN, who came out on their home page and said, who is the leader that can get rid of all this chaos in the world? And whether they mean a president or a head of an EU or whatever, they're crying for a man with a plan. Or maybe they're thinking of Hillary Clinton, a woman with a plan. I don't know. But they're thinking that the world needs a leader. But unfortunately, <laughs> the kind of leader they want is probably the Antichrist. However, they don't know that. So we've had some startling events here in the last few weeks. We've had an attempted coup in Turkey. I want to talk to Terry James about that. But Terry, let's go back just for a minute for the super sign, which is Israel. And again, we know that they are crying for peace and safety. The whole world is crying for peace and safety. You talk about it in this book. And I believe that the rapture is going to cause the greatest turmoil on the face of the earth. And that is going to result in the greatest cry for peace and security ever. That's what's going to bring Antichrist to power, yeah. I think, because he's going to be the man with the plan, as our friend Dave Breeze used to say. Now, he's the man with the plan, and that rapture is going to cause, I believe, such chaos and carnage when Jesus calls the church, come up hither. I think that that's going to definitely uh, cause this cry for peace and safety to really increase. But, Jan, we're seeing that cry already. I mean, that's what this peace process yeah. is all about this uh, desire to get Israel to give up land for peace. In the book, uh, Rapture Ready or Not, I give a chapter there that uh, deals with this, Recall of History's Most Deadly Product. That deals with the peace and safety issue mm -hmm. uh, more specifically. I believe the, the greatest recall in history is that call for the doing away with the nuclear weaponry. You know, when the genie escaped the bottle in uh, Alamogorda, uh, New Mexico in 1945, when they in invented the atomic bomb, from that point, that gave the diplomat mass of the world, and I believe satanic forces of the world, this cry for peace and safety that has grown from that. People want that, that genie back in the bottle. It's not going to happen, of course. No. But, uh, that's what they use as their platform in, in saying they believe that Israel is possibly the greatest ignition point for World War Three. And they want that uh, genie back in the bottle. So I think this is one of the big fears because of the wars and carnages and because of nuclear exchanges is going to take place after the rapture, that uh, there'll be this call for peace and safety, a recall. The recall will be to uh, to do something to control this nuclear capability and so forth. In the in the book, I sort of uh, equate that to you know when a company recalls a product, they want to do it to preserve life and so forth. And I think that's what the, at least Satan's minions, the globalists, are going to claim. Yeah. Let me play a one and a half minute soundbite to back up what we're saying, Terry James. That we live in peace and security. The lesson of history is that peace and security do not come easily peace and stability uh, that uh, people on all sides long for. Two states for two peoples living side by side in peace and security is not a vague slogan, but a real necessary necessity for the stability in the entire region. Israel and Palestinians, they can live side by side in peace and security. This is our uh, vision and this is our uh, commitment. For a new deal and security and friendship. My hopes and dreams for Israel are to live in peace, to live in peace and security. Two states living side by side in peace and security. True security for all Israelis. We will also pursue peace between Israel and Lebanon. In peace and security. Israel and Syria. Peace and security. And a broader peace between Israel and its many neighbors must decide whether we are serious about peace and security. To recognize Israel's legitimacy and its right to exist in peace and security. That's how we will find new pathways to peace and security. That is the work that we must do. In peace and security. Peace and security and, and coexistence. A movement towards peace. If we have this triangle, economy, security, and peace, then peace can succeed. Terry James, it's almost a mantra. It is, and you know, that's exactly what Revelation chapter 6 uh, tells us, that when the seals are open, that man comes riding forth on a white horse, a platform of peace. 
and he has a quiver, but there's no arrows in it. It's got a bow, but there's no arrows in it, which most believe that means that it's an indicator of peace and security. That same man we see in, in Daniel chapter 9, verse 27, will make a covenant of peace and security for seven years with Israel and the surrounding neighbors and the whole world, as a matter of fact. And that's what it's all about, a call for peace and safety, King James calls it. And, of course, the diplomats of the world are calling it peace and security, same thing.